Where'd that interview you get? The thing you said at the end about getting revenge. Hey there. What's going on? Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yafin thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... that's not a funny joke. Like, at all. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing or in trouble or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. It's probably gonna be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. I'm not, I, I'm not stupid. I know that. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Hey, Travis. I got a... I got a... I'm on a break right now. Now. Thank God, you're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. You shoot first, ask questions later. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get them. Disappearing act, huh?
Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. Are there more of them? Are they gonna come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Hi. Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like... Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you.
I want out. You still there? Let me out. Who are you? My name is Billy. <laughs> I'm not fine. You bastard. Uh -huh. You still there? Let me out. I'm just looking for the mayonnaise. That's not funny. Besides. Let me open the door for you. Yes, it's been so long. The door is stuck. You're gonna have to shoot it off. You still there? Let me out! No way. You might be dangerous. No, I'm not. I don't have any weapons or anything. I've been trapped in... Let me... Mm -hmm. Uh, my legs are so stiff. Everything's so different. Guess I was in there for a really long time. What do I do now? So, what's the story with you in that fridge? It happened so long ago, back before everything got wrecked. When I heard the sirens, I tried to find someplace safe. When everything started to shake and fall apart, I just crawled inside. When it got quiet again, I tried to get out, but there isn't a handle on the inside. I just want to go home. Can you help me? Please? Where did you live? Quincy, but I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown up. I just want to find out what happened to my mom and dad. I hate to tell you this, but your parents are probably dead. Dead? You really think so? Then I'm all alone. Who's going to take care of me? You? Were your parents good to you? Yeah, my dad was the best. My mom always took care of me. Yes, I do. They've been gone for hundreds of years now. Guess I'll just sit here until some monster comes and eats me. Thanks for nothing. Uh... Hey, Billy. <sighs> At least you got me out of that fridge. You look like something that was left in the fridge too long. Oh, yeah? Well, well, never mind. Can you help me get back home? You'll have to figure out your own life. I guess I'll just sit here until some monster comes and eats me. Thanks for nothing. Hey, Billy. <sighs> At least you got me out of that fridge. I'll take you someplace safe. I just want to go home. I want to find my mom and dad. Then let's go find your home. Thanks. I live in Quincy. Or at least, I used to. But I don't know how to get there. Everything's so different. It's all blown. Cute kid. Is he for sale? What's a ghoul child worth? Hey, you can't sell me. Plenty. I'll give you 200 caps. Ghouls are immune to radiation, don't age, and don't need to eat. You can work them real hard. Only 200 caps? <laughs> you can do better. You're sharper than you look. 250, and I'll save you the hassle of carting them all over the Commonwealth. That price is an insult.
Bolt. All right, all right. 300, and not a cap more. Give me a break. I know what he's really worth. Damn, you drive a hard bargain. Here's 350. I'm taking the kid. You... you sold me, you asshole! Hey, Billy. You sold me? Then you rescue me? Why? I did it to trick Bullet into giving me the money. Maybe you could have told me that. I thought you really sold me. Hey, Billy. Asshole. I hope we find out what happened to my mom and dad. Cute kid. Is he for sale? What's a ghoul child worth? Hey, you can't- uh -huh. Plenty. A ghouls are immune. You can work- Only 200 caps? <laughs> You're sharper than you look. 250, and I'll save you- That price is an insult. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. No. What kind of person are you? The kind who does whatever it takes to survive out here. Thanks, lady. You're all right. Hi. Changed your mind, huh? I'm still willing to buy that kid from you. What? Never. Yeah! Your loss. Your uh -huh. I hope we find out what happened to my mom and dad. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Mom? Dad? Are you in there? Billy! Billy? Son? Is that really you? It's me. It's really me. Oh my god! We thought you were dead. What happened to you? You're all burned up like me. We're ghouls, Billy. The radiation changed us. Looks like it did the same thing to you. Don't worry about it, Billy. Your dad and I don't care what you look like. We still love you. I love you too, Mom. I missed you guys. It's been so long. <clears throat> Thank you for bringing us back our little boy. And saving us from that man. 
So, how did you end up as ghouls? We didn't make it to the shelter in time. The door was shutting as the bombs fell. We both must have taken a lot of radiation. I guess we were some of the lucky ones. Most folks die instead of becoming ghouls. Must be something in both our genes. So that's why you guys look like me. Yeah, Billy. That's why. <laughs> Although it's really more why you look like us. We wandered for a while, but eventually came back here. We've been living here ever since. Not really anywhere else to go. Let me thank you. Take this. Yes. I never thought I would see my mom and dad again. Thanks. <laughs>